Hey guys, Heather here from Tide Eyed Iguana, and today we're gonna check out our animals that are adapted for digging. We're gonna check out the adaptations that each of these guys has that help them become expert diggers uh, out in the wild and also here at the store in their enclosures. So let's go check them out. Our first species we're gonna take a look at has gotta be one of our strongest diggers. He's a little busy right now, but this is actually a great opportunity to check out those front feet. You just gotta check out those nails. Are you gonna hide? You're gonna hide. There we go. Take a look at those nails. Look how thick they are. They're thicker than my fingers. And then if you check out their scales, these things are like miniature shovels. They will dig down into the dirt. And into me, <laughs> you gotta be careful of these guys because I know we have gotten scraped by these uh, scales before. They can pack a punch. But yeah, these guys are basically built with two shovels on the front of their bodies that will help them dig through the soil, dig burrows in the ground. They can be well over 10 foot, foot deep. That is why people have trouble keeping them outside. Uh, because even if you build a fence, these guys can dig right under it. And their burrows can be really long too. They can be like 20 to 30 feet long too. So they are experts, aren't you? Yeah, you're an expert digger. And then if you see here, we got a wooden, solid wooden board here because otherwise they would dig through the plaster of the wall. People have had that happen too, where their sulcata tortoises they keep indoors will just dig through the wall. And uh, you can tell from how scratched up it is, just how much he likes to kind of dig against this himself. So luckily he can't get through that. <laughs> Otherwise we'd have a hole in the wall. <laughs> so yeah, that is our first species, definitely the most extreme diggers we've got here. Now we'll move on to something a little bit smaller in this tank. You can't see anything because all the chubby frogs in this tank are burrowed underground. And you can kind of see little spots where their different burrows have been. But these guys are masters as well. I'm going to get one out for us to look at. Alright, so I managed to dig up two little dudes. They are a little bit smaller this time. But we're going to take a look at them real quick. Alright, so I'm going to bring one up here just for a little bit. Just for a little bit, just so we can get a look at those feet. See how big those feet are? So those feet are really thick on the back. And they are made for digging. So yeah, you can see they got really thick pads on the back of their feet. Kind of act like shovels when they want to dig down into the dirt. Right there. But yeah, these guys are expert diggers, and when you put them into the soil, you will notice that they will dig down really fast. I'm hoping that they'll show that off. Yeah, these guys will spend most of the day underground. They'll come up to eat crickets, of course. Let's see, let's watch that shimmy shimmy. Oh, that one's gonna do it. There he goes. See? Look at that soil coming up there. He's gonna disappear. Well, he's gonna do it halfway anyway. There he goes. This other little guy, he doesn't want to... Oh, there he goes. See him? Starting to dig down. The other one disappeared. He doesn't want to dig down all the way, but that's okay. But yeah, these guys are adapted to being diggers. Uh, so, yeah, they got little shovels in the back of their feet, <laughs> basically. And then our third and final animal that's adapted for digging is in this tank. We've got baby Kenyan Samboas in here. Let's see if we can find them. They basically swim. Oh, I found one. They basically swim through these tanks. Yeah, these are itty bitty babies. But we're gonna take a look at their snoots. 
They have very cute little snoots. There's a cute little snoot. Because the trick to their digging abilities is in their snoot. Not in it, but on it, I should say. Let's take a look at that little snoot. You can see that it's very, very blunt. And kind of, and if you look at it this way, it's kind of wedge-shaped. See how it kind of points down? That's the shape of their snoot, and it kind of is the shape of a shovel. So when they stick their head in the ground, it's really easy for them to dig down. It's basically like they're shoveling the bedding up and over them as they dig. So that's why these guys have such kind of flat, wedge-shaped snoots. And of course they have eyes that are kind of flattened near the top of their head. That helps them to detect prey on the surface of the, uh, of the ground because they're going to be spending most of their time underground. So, But yeah, their head shape is a lot different than that of other snakes because they are adapted for living under the ground, digging and all that good stuff. Yeah, you got a little wedge-shaped head, don't you? And you see that in other species too, like hognoses, they have a really flattened snoot and that helps them dig. So, we don't got those here at our store, they're venomous, so we don't keep venomous stuff here. There you go. There you go, see? <laughs> but that right there it also shows you that they can have just a little bit of their head peeking out above the ground and since their eyes are on the top of their head nearly they can keep that above the ground and look for stuff to eat yeah you're cute aren't you there we go it's gonna use that to dig down All right, show them how you dig. <laughs> there you go. Nearum. And he's just about, oh. You're not gonna go all the way in, buddy. That's okay. That was a really good example of just how fast these guys can just dive underground. So yeah, those are our three diggers and what makes them special and what makes them able to have such awesome digging skills. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.